My name is Natalie Wright, and I'm a biologist at the University of Montana. I study bird ecology, evolution, and flight. I'm sure you already know that birds use their wings to fly. Their wings push air down and behind them, generating upward lift and forward thrust, which moves them through the air. But did you know that birds' legs are also really important in helping them fly? Watch these weavers landing and taking off in slow motion. Look at how active their legs are. What are their legs doing for them? They're helping both in taking off, getting into the air, and in landing. Taking off or starting to fly for birds can be very difficult. This is because more power is required to fly at very low speeds. This graph shows the power required for flight on the vertical axis and the speed here on the horizontal axis. Drag, the air pushing against birds that slows them down, is highest at very low speeds here and very high speeds, which causes birds flying at these speeds to need to produce more power to stay aloft. Uh, birds tend to choose to fly at these intermediate speeds here where power requirements are lowest, but they can't avoid the fact that when they take off from the ground or from a perch, they're starting to fly at a speed of zero, which requires a lot of energy. Or can they do something about this? It can be hard to see with the naked eye, but maybe you've noticed that a lot of birds jump when they take off. Biologists who study flight call this movement a leg thrust, which is really just a fancy way of saying that they're jumping. Birds crouch down, which we call a counter movement, then push off strongly with their legs to launch themselves into the air. This gets the speed at which they start flying with their wings to be faster than zero. That moves them from here on the graph, requiring huge amounts of power, to over here, where flight requires much less power. It's easier for birds to start flying with their wings and their flight muscles uh, at this speed than a speed of zero. Almost all birds use this leg thrust when taking off to reduce how much power they need to generate with their wings and their flight muscles. Sometimes you might see that they don't even begin flapping their wings until their feet have completely left the ground or their perch, when they're already well into the air because of their leg thrust. How else are legs important for flight? Well, birds don't spend all of their time up in the air. They have to be able to land safely, and their legs are important for doing that too. So this photograph shows a woodpecker taking off at the same time that a fire finch is landing. You can see that they're both using their legs for takeoff and landing. The high cost of flight at low speeds makes landing potentially difficult. Most birds don't slow their speed down to exactly zero at the moment their feet touch the ground. They're not like helicopters gracefully touching their landing gear to the ground at the same instant that they stop moving completely. Instead, while their wings slow them down before they land, they're still moving with considerable force when their feet touch the ground or the perch. Their legs absorb that force. So how do you land when you jump from something tall, something up high? Do you land with your legs kept perfectly straight? Or as your feet touch the ground, do your legs bend as you land, helping to absorb some of that force? Like you, birds' feet touch the ground and their legs bend, slowing their body's movements down gradually instead of all at once. Some birds even use their feet to slow them down while they're still in the air. Birds with webbed feet, like ducks and geese, will splay their feet out as they slow down uh, to land. Their feet act like little miniature parachutes to help them slow down while they're still in the air. So look at these whistling ducks' feet and how their positions change as they prepare to land, from tucked up close against the body uh, when they're still flying, to spread out be directly below them as they start to slow down, and then pushed out in front of them slightly as they prepare to actually hit the ground with their feet. Next time you see birds, watch for what their legs are doing. How are they using them to get into and out of the air? Have you noticed that different types of birds use their legs in different ways? Next time you're out and about, maybe next time you're on safari, take a look at the birds around you and what their feet are doing as well as what their wings are doing.